Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sonic here, and today you're watching a game of Domination on Nuketown. And today, as you can see by the score, it's a pretty good game, um, which, I mean, it's a 10.5 KD or something like that. I have no clue. Don't be asking me. Oh, I gotta turn the sound down. What am I thinking? Alright, anyways, uh, this video, you know, which is very delayed, I've been feeling kind of down lately, so I apologize about that, um, but... This video is going to be talking about current events and uh, future projects and plans for Modern Warfare 3. Uh, as you guys know, we are very close. Today is 10-21 uh, October to the 21st, 2011. So we are very close to the release date on November 11th. Looking forward to that because, believe me, I, I haven't played Black Ops in a long, long while. So, uh, looking forward to that. And also, I'm talking about a new idea that I have for Minecraft. I'm not going to give out too many details, but um, basically it's going to be a parody of a, a very famous TV show that uh, has to do with nature, and I'm going to do one over Minecraft. So, if you don't like Minecraft, then uh, and you're at my channel for Call of Duty videos, then you're going to have to wait till possibly November the 8th, but I'll probably have another Call of Duty video up before that. Um, but if you're in, in this for Minecraft, then you're in luck, because I'm going to have a very, very good video. I'm not going to have any, this, that stupid video doesn't count, that stupid boats and hose video that was just me playing around. But I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was a good idea. But the Minecraft video coming up will be very good, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy that one. Anyways, um, this gameplay, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice one. But why would I talk about the gameplay since Modern Warfare 3 is coming out? Well, in this video, I kind of wanted to touch on things that I have noticed kind of helped me in every single Call of Duty game, every first-person shooter, things that I I take, like, the first things in the game that I go to are these general tips where you can just apply them to any first-person shooter and... You know, do fine or do better than you would just going in it with new completely new tactics even though I do believe you know throughout the old bringing the new you still have to have some kind of prior knowledge so I'm gonna give you my game tips for games that you have never played before okay so first person shooter game tips the first one is before you do anything uh, is get a comfortable button layout the button layout that I used when I came into Black Ops was on uh, Tactical because I was used to the end of Modern Warfare 2. I was I wanted to get back into drop shotting because Modern Warfare 2, I did have it on default and I kind of wanted to get back into going pro whenever I needed to duck down. Which is why you see in this game, I kept on swapping up my, uh, my button layout so you see me knife sometimes before I go prone. But that's no big deal. So first of all, you got to find a button layout that you're comfortable with. That includes sensitivity. Now, people ask you, what what's your sensitivity? To be honest, it's mostly going between 4 and 7, and sometimes 8, uh, sometimes even 3. But depending on the way I want to play, if I'm looking for a gameplay, I tend to go about 5. That's just dead right in the center. And it normally fits my needs for most of my gunfights. But if I'm looking for consistent good gameplay, a 4, possibly even the 3, is normally what I'm going to shoot for because I'm definitely going to play further away from my people. Further away from, well not my people, but further away from the enemy. The farther away from the enemy you are, then the lower sensitivity and the, uh, the longer range gun, the better. And those are the st uh, steps that I take for getting a good game, by the way. If I want to get a good game, then I just, just stay away from the enemy. But that's not what the video is about. I'm going back to the first uh, the first person shooter tips even the games that you haven't played already so my next tip that I want to talk about is is one that's very uh, it's still kind of it's tough to do but even though you kind of have to play the game a little bit to see what everyone else is doing because this is kind of like that but basically you're going if you play a game like the first game and by the way I'm going to do a live commentary session of my first session on Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 excuse me but Chances are, if you see someone in a game, they know more than you already, alright? Now, I'm not saying don't do your own thing, because people are idiots. Believe me, if you do what another person do, does, then chances are you're going to die. Because 
if you haven't noticed, Call of Duty isn't filled with very bright people. I'm not being mean, but when it comes to video gaming, people just forget they have brains. And that's not that's not a bad thing because because I get good games. No. That's not a bad thing because people shouldn't play video games for serious like life changing you know games, I guess you could say, but games are supposed to be fun. And if they don't want to use a lot of brain power, they want to come home, sit on the couch, and, you know, just chill. Kind of like watching TV sometimes. Then let them do it. But, chances are, if you follow someone, you're going to die. So, you kind of have to have a balance for this. But if you see a guy that's, you know, you go into a game, he's 10-3 and 3 on a brand new game. Chances are he's doing something right. He knows a trick that no one else knows. and knows a route. He knows a hiding spot that no one else knows. Which gives him a little upper hand. Okay. And my last and final tip. Wait, did I say that was the last and final tip? No, I said that was the next tip. But one of my last and final tips is pick a gun you're comfortable with. But how do you know? How do you know what guns you're going to be comfortable with? Well, when I say that you should pick up you know, or pick up where someone left off or follow someone's footsteps in a game, well, that's not necessarily should be definitive because... Everyone has their own kind of play style, all right. I, I want to rush sometimes, but because I, n I normally don't have the best connection in the world, so I tend to fall back sometimes. Now, as you can see in here, I decided just to go, you know, into the enemy spawn, see if I could get lucky, but I didn't. I do like to go rushing, so obviously I know what gun to pick. Not what specific gun, but what gun type. I know you guys. I I know you're probably thinking. What, what, what are you, what are you talking about? I already knew. I already knew all of this. Pick a gun you're comfortable with. Wow, that is amazing. But remember, this is a game that you haven't played before. All right. And remember my video, the first game I had on Black Ops, the black and white one. That first game, I picked an M16. All right. And let me tell you right now, an M16 is not my play style. One for one, I have horrible accuracy. Like seriously, spray and play, spray and pray is the way to play. That's, you know, you've heard that before. So, why did I pick an M16? I don't know. Now, obviously, if there is a class that's not unlocked that fits your playstyle, you have to use it. But the thing is, I mean, you don't need to stick with it. I stick with it for, like, three games, all right? Even when I had the MP5K class unlocked. I don't know why I did it. I just did it, all right? And that's all, people. I just wanted to give you these tips because... I tell you what, going to a new game can be very frustrating, but it can be very rewarding. And I'm, I'm going to be recording my first session on Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Hopefully, this is not Modern Warfare 2. I mean, chances are it's going to look a lot like it, but hey, it's a different game, and hopefully the, the, uh, the game is going to be rather different. Uh, just a little. It just has to be a little different for me to like it, because I just don't want all the bullcrap. Anyways, that's all I wanted to get over in this video final score is 65 and 6 65 and 6 three captures six defense hope you all have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye bye